Welcome back to the crypt, everyone. My name is Burton, and this is a very special episode of Lost in the Dark podcast. Tonight, uh, I decided to do something a little different. Start maybe a new, maybe a new series. We'll see how it goes. Uh, like short, you know, like these little five episode mini series things I like to do. I still need to finish my uh, the one, the heavy metal folklore ones. Uh, I got two left to do. I'm thinking about rolling them into one. I'm not sure yet. Um, so full disclosure. You are, you'll be hearing this on Monday. Uh, I recorded this uh, last th- uh, uh, Thursday, uh, the or Friday, sorry, it's past midnight, Friday uh, the 19th, um, and you'll be hearing it Monday. Uh, I want to mention something from the previous episode. I talked a bit about a potential rumor of ACDC going back on tour with Brian Johnson, how I was excited about that. Well, I found another little piece to that puzzle today. Uh fucking the the apparently the rumored tour is highway to hell 40th anniversary and that got me so much more motherfucker if they played highway to hell top to bottom i would lose my fucking mind like brian johnson like granted granted no one will ever be better than bon scott but brian johnson does a damn good job and to see him and angus up there would be fucking incredible so just doing the highway. I, listen, 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 listen. And I've said this before. I am not religious by any stretch of the imagination. However, I was re- raised religious. <clears throat> and uh, I did confirmation. Like I did all the sacraments in the church except for marriage, including confirmation. And on the way home from my confirmation, uh, I was in the car with three other people. And on the way home from the confirmation, Highway to Hell came on the radio And I made them turn it up. And that was all she wrote. Fucking. So, uh, so yeah, that album, just that whole, that album holds a really special place to me. So I, I, if if that's the tour they do and it comes here, oh, that would be fucking incredible. So I just learned that new little like caveat now by the doubt. Like I said, you're hearing this on Monday. So by the time you hear this, it could have been officially announced. I do not know. We shall see. Fingers crossed. But. In any case, getting on to our special episode tonight, uh, what might lead to another little mini-series. Uh, tonight's episode is going to be about monsters, specifically lake monsters here at the, in the Great Lakes in Michigan. Uh, I, ju- I, I recently traveled to Scotland and went to Loch Ness and saw it, and it was an incredible experience. Um, and I talked last night, or, or I talked uh, uh, on the last podcast about weird animals that have been, have been being seen in uh, Michigan, like uh, alligators and fucking kangaroos and shit. Well, the one of the kangaroo stories I got was from a book called Weird Michigan by Linda Godfrey, and close to those pages were pages about uh, Great Lakes monsters. So I decided to do, read the things in the book, decided to do a little more research on top of that, and uh, do do uh, an episode called maybe like getting lost in Michigan sea monsters or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be called yet. But in any case, let's get to it. So I'm going to go over. Uh, so I didn't find. I didn't necessarily find a lake monster for every single lake. Um, there, there, I, there, there are rumors of one for Lake Ontario, but I didn't really find anything solid. Um. And Lake Michigan has never really had anything, oddly enough. Uh, however, uh, I talked about on a couple podcasts ago a recent video that was going around online that was said to be, you know, a lake monster uh, seen on a security cam in Lake Michigan. I think it's some sort of long piece of fabric that got caught up in the tide on a stormy day, personally. But regardless, there was potential video footage of a sea serpent in Lake Michigan. And also, in doing this research, I found another video where a guy stuck a camera down his ice fishing hole and caught something really clear and really close up on camera, like clear as day. And what it looked like to me, now see, so he, it went through a small little ice hole. I don't know how big, the, I don't, there's no way to tell how big the animal was, but it looked to me like some kind of fucking eel. Like, its face, that's what it kind of looked like. Very fucking bizarre. So, then that's and that's something that 
you know, it that th I don't think that thing has been identified yet as to what it is. Very clear video though. So interesting. Interesting at the very least to say the least. Um so Ontario, Michigan, not so much. However, Lake Superior, of course, the biggest lake has the biggest monster. The monster that is said to reside in Lake Superior is known to locals as Pressy, offshoot of Nessie, obviously, the because uh, it's uh, frequently seen near the uh, Presque Isle River in the UP. People say it's anywhere from 30 to 75 feet long. Sightings go back to the Native Americans, specifically their legend of of uh, of the Mishipishu. Um, they call it the it's it's said to be a lake guardian, a serpent like beast, a uh, fish like lizard, a snake with a turtle head. Uh, some ca have called it a dragon. It's said to be able to cause thunderstorms. In order to survive the thunderstorm, you have to look the creature in the face. Some have said it can, uh, from the legend it can shape shift, and its power comes from the copper lines uh, in in Lake, in Michigan. Um, from 1894 to the 1830s, an unidentified creature matching this description was seen by boats and passerbys uh, in Lake Superior. And then in 1977, Pressy was sighted again, at, and an alleged picture was taken. Uh, the photograph was taken along the Porcupine Mountains near the uh, near the Otnagan shoreline. Now, this picture to me does does sir, does not convince me. It looks like a lot of pictures that I saw explained away at the museum at the Nessie Museum, the Loch Ness Monster Museum. It looked very similar to a lot of potential pictures of Nessie that they were able to explain as to what they really were. Um. So the photograph doesn't from 1977 does not in the sighting does not necessarily convince me entirely personally. However, however, the creature has been sighted by Francis Kellogg of Kellogg's Cereal. He claimed that it looked the head. I, th I think he was referring to the head at least looked like the shape of Lake Superior itself. And if you look at Lake Superior on a map, I personally always thought it kind of looks like a wolf's head or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that 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 was notable to me. And uh, some have even connected the monster to tragedies on Lake Superior, including the tragedy of the Edmunds Fitzgerald, uh, one of the largest boats to ever go down on the lake. So that is Pressy. That is the Lake Superior monster. Um, and yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. That was an interesting one. Um, even though when I checked out the photo, you know, I was I didn't love the photo. I was like, ah, I've seen this. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> still interesting did not know about it before so kind of crazy moving on to lake erie and you'll never guess this one's name bessie swear to fucking god uh kinda, i didn't find that much on this one uh 1793 was the first recorded sightings and sightings went on for over 100 years not many sightings, though, in recent decades. Notable sighting occurred in uh, 1892 by the entire crew of a ship. They said they saw a 50-foot-long serpent and saw its face and said it had brown eyes. Uh, and they said when they first saw it, it looked like it was struggling with something underneath the water. And then it went still and just kind of looked at them for a minute and a little while and left. But the entire fucking crew said they saw it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got on, uh, on the Lake Erie Bessie monster. However, I do have some stuff on this lake, on Lake Huron. This one, this one really stuck out to me because we have some official ass fucking reports. According to the Grand Rapids Press on June 25th, 1976, a resort owner called the police reporting two 45 foot long sea serpents in the water at his beach uh, at his beachfront property on Lake Huron, about 600 feet from the shore. The following day, Sheriff Stanley McCurvey came to check it out. Quote from the sheriff. I went down to the beach, and sure enough, I'm looking at something 20, maybe 30 feet long, swimming just below the surface. I was amazed. I don't know what it was, but I'm sure it wasn't a publicity stunt. He co End quote. He continued to watch the creature through the binoculars. 
it would periodically uh, slightly put its head just above water, but any disturbance on the shoreline would cause it to put its head uh, back underwater. And then uh, sheriff, uh, the sheriff ordered two deputies to go out in a canoe to check it out, and by the time they got to it, it was long gone. And uh, the next few days, they wanted to go look for it, but it got uh, apparently the weather became bad, and uh, they were not able to go look for it, and it has not been seen in that area again. So that was extra interesting to me. A fucking sheriff. A sheriff actually went on record and said, yeah, I, I'm looking at something through binoculars. A whole nine. He saw it. So um, what is it? I do not know. I do not know. The largest, I do know the largest uh, animal Known animals swimming in the Great Lakes uh, are the sturgeons. They can, let's see, let me just look this up really quick. Let's see how big a sturgeon can get. Uh, so, yeah, lake sturgeon can be, can weigh up to 240 pounds and can get up to about seven. 7.25 feet long, 2.2 meters. So, you know, so a sheriff looking at something saying, no, I'm looking at something that's like 20 to 30 feet long is pretty fucking wild. Uh, yeah. So that, that one, that report really stuck out to me just because it was a, it was an actual sheriff. Um, and it's an official police report. So yeah, that's, uh, I guess this is a short one, but yeah, that's pretty much, all I got, um, yeah, I just wanted to, like I said, I was reading that uh, weird Michigan book about kangaroos, and I went down a rabbit hole about Great Lakes monsters, sea serpents, and the like. So, yeah, I guess that's about it for this episode. We got a lot more coming soon. Um, hope you enjoyed it with me. Thank you very much for getting lost with me tonight. Um, be sure to... Uh, Hit like, hit subscribe, um, check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. The next events we will be at are um, uh, this Thursday, Max Bar, Lansing, Michigan, uh, Recorruptor Bog Race Show. It's going to be fucking incredible. So uh, be sure to be there. Very, very excited for that. Um, and we will be back again very, very soon. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, be sure to raise your horns, bang your head. I love you all to death. Good night.